Hi guys, so today is Saturday, June, I don't know what the date is, but I'll insert it below. And I'm on my way to Queen Center Mall. Get my highlights just beaming in the sun today. But yeah, I'm on my way to Queen Center Mall. I'm actually kind of really sick. I have a horrible cough that won't go away, but I'm with my mother. And we're at the bus stop waiting for the bus. And it is really hot. Yesterday, literally, or the day before, it was so cold. But now it's really hot and it's sunny. And yeah, we have no real reason for going, but my mom just decided she wanted to pick up and go to the mall. And look how, can we just talk about my highlight? Like, I'm wearing a million different highlights. I'm wearing the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow and the Laura Gella Ballerina Mixed with Gilded Honey. So that's three highlights. Bobbi Brown, Laura Gella, Laura Geller, and Ballerina and Gilded Honey. like almost 10 o'clock and we're on our way back and my thoughts of this place I would live here it is so nice 
the houses are beautiful it's just like it's like living it's like florida i've never been to florida okay so i got cut off but i had to move but yeah my assessment is i would live i would definitely live over here like it is so beautiful it's like florida it's like a new york florida if that make any sense but there's nothing there's no shopping there's only like certain shopping areas but like it's not like brooklyn where like every corner is like a store so you would either have to you definitely have to have a car or you would have to you would have to know someone that drives or have a bunch of money for uber or something because once you get to the residential area it's just houses houses and it's dark like i just had to move i'm waiting at the bus stop the 35 i had to move because it's so dark you couldn't even see you couldn't even see myself so now i'm like standing in front of a store or whatever but yeah there's really nothing you have to there's nothing over here like you have to live near like the shopping malls like we went to when we went to queen center mall we had to take the 35 to the 53 but you had to take it all the way down and that was really far that was it took like two hours to get here but yeah the closest thing right now i don't know if you could see it is a Dwayne reed and like a bunch of little stores like h and r block and stuff but yeah i would definitely live over here like but another thing is there was no black people on the bus coming up none like me and my mom were the only two black people everybody else was white and hispanic so yeah that was kind of uncomfortable but when you go further up like towards the shopping area obviously there's more black people because i guess that's the more culturized side i wish i could have captured more better how beautiful the houses are over here but now it's really dark and i'm not even by any residential area except the bus stop so yeah okay so my location is newport ave and 116th street okay so a better assessment of the area i thought we were by far rock but it's actually not far rock away we are by broad or beach channel okay so really quickly guys i just got the newer shades of the maybelline fit me foundation the one for oily skin the matte poreless one in the mail last night so i got the color 358 and that's latte i'm so disappointed in this foundation i had such high expectations for it because i found out maybelline came out with i i don't i think it's 16 new shades and i was i was like what so now they have like 31 or 32 shades all together of the foundation and I was extremely surprised because for a while they had only like 15 or 16 and for black people it was even worse it was like five shades and only two I would consider to be my skin tone so the foundation I was using before was the 361 and 360 is way too dark but I would mix it with the makeup forever in the color y505 but this is an expensive combination the makeup forever is 43 and this is 7.99 and even sometimes at target you could find this for 5.99 so a six dollar foundation over a 43 dollar foundation but this the camera is not really picking it up but this is so gray really gray like casket ready gray it is ridiculous so when i looked at the shades i didn't think it would be that gray but it is okay so but anyway there are but the one thing maybelline did do well is that they came out with more shades that are even darker than 360 the new shades go up to 380 so i believe there is still there's not one for each color, like one for each number, like 361. Like the next shade up from 360 is 362 and it's called Java. They did do a good job with that and those shades are extremely deep. So for girls that like are even darker than the 360 right here, they're gonna have, you're gonna finally have a foundation to actually fit your skin tone. 
But the one thing is, though, I suggest to get it now while supplies last because I know that people are going to want this foundation. Black girls are really, this is a holy grail must-have. The foundation itself is good. It's just that for some reason this shade was not anything like I thought it was. Like, the shade below is 355, unfortunately. I do, don't have it with me here right now, but... I used to mix 355 with 360, so I thought, hey, 358 is in between 355 and 360, and that it would be like a mixture of the two, and it's completely different. The 358 is actually more neutral in, like, undertone, and the 360, I would say, is for a red undertone. That's why I did not like that foundation. I could not, I mean, not the foundation, the shade. I couldn't mess with the shade because... Every time I put it on, I look super orange because it, the undertone was for someone with a red undertone. And I have a yellow undertone. I would consider yellow to be warm or even neutral. But the 358 neutralizes the 360. So today I used it for my face and I mixed them. At first I used the 358 by myself. And I'm glad I didn't leave it like that because it was definitely too light. And I was surprised. I thought 358 would be a mixture of 355 and 360. And then I could finally stop mixing shades. But it wasn't. Okay, so the even more important thing. The place to get the Maybelline Fit Me, the new shades, the only place so far I've seen it at is Ulta. And there's no Ulta in Brooklyn. The closest Ulta is in Long Island. And it's at Greenacre Mall. Okay, and I actually traveled to Ulta in Greenacre Mall, and they didn't even have the foundation in stock. They didn't even have it yet available for purchase in the store, but I went online, and that's where I was able to pick up the shades, and they had all the shades available, and I was extremely surprised. I actually got two because I thought it was going to be good, and it wasn't. But I'm still going to use it because it neutralizes 360, but you can get it online at Ulta.com. Okay, so I put the flash on so you could better see the color comparison. And this is just ridiculous. This color comparison is ridiculous. This they they still need to they still need to fix the shade. It's still bad. But long story short, I would still recommend the foundation anyway. Even though the shade that was 358 was kind of off, it should have been darker because this I would this is what I thought the shade would look like if you can't really tell the difference but it is if you put them side by side this is darker than that that's what I thought it would have been like and that's why I purchased it because I thought these are dupes for this in terms of like the color so that's why I wanted this one to substitute this one because this is $43 and I need two shades so $89 for foundation I can't even do math. But yeah, you know, 80 something dollars for foundation, you know what I'm trying to say, is ridiculous. So that's why. But in the beginning, when I first started doing my makeup, I used these foundations, but the color was always off and I always looked weird. So then I was like, you know what, let me get color matched at Sephora. And that's one of the only foundations that worked for me at Sephora. But yeah, I still would recommend the foundation anyway. Because once they get, if you're darker than 360, you're good to go. You're Gucci. Even if you're lighter. I'd rather spend $8 and mix, eat for each foundation and mix them over the $43. This foundation is amazing. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just too pricey. Especially for someone like me that wears makeup almost every day. Maybe I would recommend this for someone that barely wears foundation and when they do a little bit. But that's not me, so I can't afford to spend that much money anymore on foundation. But yeah, guys, that was my final review. I'm wearing the foundation now. I mixed 360 and 350, 358, and it looks pretty put together. But I had to work really hard because at first I put on 358 alone, and I looked super duper ashy. And I'm loving, I'm in love with my hair. Like, I'm a review coming soon. So, guys, that's going to be the end of my vlog. Thanks so much for watching. 
make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already you're playing games go ahead and make that youtube account and hit that subscribe button thank you so much for watching peace out